So the first doors have opened. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan if you are new here and welcome to the first prompt of the Thousand Doors Readathon. Most of you probably already know what's going on if you clicked on this video, but this is a readathon starting right now, which is essentially a choose your own adventure readathon. Your next prompt is based on what you think of the book you choose for the prompt in this video and so on and so on. So everyone will have this magically different path and receive different props to one another and it is completely unpredictable and I'm so looking forward to hosting it this week with you guys. I'm, I'm so excited. If you want to remind yourself of any of the kind of key important information regarding prizes and stuff like that, that is all down in the description down below. There are three starting prompts. So myself, Emma and Tasman who are my co-hosts for this, we're all putting an initial prompt out and you can choose from any of these three. So either you can just decide that this video is the one you're starting with or you can go watch the other two, decide which prompt you like best and then start from there. And each of us three have kind of themed the prompts that we'll be giving throughout this journey in a really kind of special and unique way. And so mine is going to be memes. <laughs> Could it be anything else? So basically I'm gonna show you a meme and you have to pick a book that fits the vibe of that meme, however you interpret that. This is completely open to interpretation. After I've given you the meme, which is your prompt, you can basically either just click off if you know what book you wanna read for it already, or I'm gonna give you some suggestions as to how you could interpret the meme. And the ways that I give, and by no means like the only ways you can interpret it, it's just me trying to give you a bit of a help if like you don't know quite how to interpret it or you just want some ideas. Without Without further ado, shall we just see the first prompt? I think we should. Okay, so your first prompt is this. Ah, that's history. <laughs> Queen Whitney herself said, ah, that's history. And I think the first kind of obvious interpretation of this prompt is to read a historical book. I personally think that anything up until the 2000s can be classed as historical fiction if you want it to be. So you have got a very wide range of books to choose from here. A few that I would recommend are The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter, Daisy Jones and the Six, and Stalking Jack the Ripper, I think are all really, really good choices for some historical fiction that I think would be good for readathons. They're all quite kind of quick reads. Also any fantasy books that are inspired by an historical setting, which is most fantasy books. Most fantasy books are inspired by a historical setting. A few are kind of like futuristic settings, but let's be honest, most fantasy books are kind of like set in the past somewhat. They would totally work for this prompt. So there's a really wide range of books there you could go for. Also in this video, Whitney is referring to something being so influential that it's history. So I think for this prompt, it would also work if you wanted to choose something that that is seen as the pinnacle of its genre, is a really popular book that everyone seems to have read and is seen as really influential in its field. So something that springs to mind for this, even though I haven't read it yet, I may choose it for this prompt, is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. So this is something that everyone sees as really influential in YA fantasy. Everyone seems to have read it. Arguably Six of Crows is now kind of like booktube history. So any book that you think maybe was really popular on booktube, maybe won something in the Goodreads Choice Awards, maybe has won a, won a literary award, anything that's got that kind of influence, in the book world, I think would also count for this prompt. Of course, you can interpret it however you want. It doesn't have to be something like that. Now, you gotta go away and read your book. I hope you enjoy it and come back here when you've finished it and you will see the end screen, which will have four choices to take you on to your next prompt. So don't forget to bookmark this video. You don't wanna lose it. Bookmark it right now. Okay, now go and read. <laughs> <laughs> 